are. Bob, Bob, what you ask them to? Come over here or stop talking. <laughs>
the responder will be three of the shorter major. Now stay with me. You'll be three of the shorter major. Let's say this is your responder. He's heard one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds as his opener. Well, that's just fine. You don't have a four card major. I happen to have five spades and four hearts. When he bids three hearts, not two, but three hearts, <coughs> the opener should tumble to the fact, oh, he's got five spades. And if the opener has three spades, then he should bid four spades. Are you with me? It's almost like a transfer. Think about it. The opener, the stronger hand, plays the hand. His hand is not exposed. That's why we like transfers. The beauty of transfers is that you don't have that exposure, right? And then it comes to the bigger hand as you get here. <clears throat> so in this instance, it would have gone one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds, three hearts. Now, if the opener does not have three spade, three of the other major, so I haven't got that either. I've only got two. That happens to be my double two. And that happens. They bid three no. Because they know they wouldn't have started this sequence had they not had ten points. Right? So the opener should be triggered by the fact I gave my partner a denial. Then he bid. I bid two diamonds. Now he bid three. And it works the same if your major is five hearts and four spades. When he hears two diamonds, the responder bids three spades. That tells the opener that the responder has five hearts. And if the opener has three, they have found their fit, right? Okay. It is alertable. And the point you alert it is when the responder makes that jump bid at the three level into the major. That's their shorter major. Remember, they're using the benefit of a transfer. It's like a transfer. They get the opener to say the other one. So that's the word. You know how when we uh, start a transfer sequence, the, the other person says transfer to alert them, right? In this instance, when they did that, Three level is when the opener would say, oh, alert. And when they say, what is it? They say, well, that's smoke. When they say, what is it? Well, they have five of this and four of that. That being the new fantasy. <laughs> okay. It is under your convention card, under no trump opening bids. There's a little place that says smoke. Check that box. And it's very slick. And you don't use it a lot, but when you do, it is a perfect bid. And there's nothing worse than start to play, you look at the dummy, and the opener realizes they had a 5 3 bid. Because that's what's going to happen. What they say when they, what the responder is saying when they bid at that three level is do you have three of the other major? When they bid their, their next time, after they get the two diamond denial, and then they make a jump bid, they're either going to bid three hearts or three spades. They didn't need a jump, did they? And unless they're trying to make, that's a forcing bid, it's a new suit, it's a jump, all those things should trigger the opener. You have a question? I do. And Is it only when you have four for the short measure? You could not do that with three? Right, no, you need at least four or five. You need at least four or five. Now here's another example. And I, I, this came off of a hand record that of a game we played recently. I, you know, I looked through the hand records to find examples. I don't like to make them up. These are real life, this was played. In this hand, your opener in the West said one no trump. And there's their hand with 17 high heart points. 17 high card points, right? Right there. It's a classic one no trump open. Rocked around with a pass. Comes over here. 
and the responder has 11 high card points and a classic shape. Five of one and four of the other. But he starts with two clubs. Two clubs. That's statement. If his partner, look at his partner over here, does he have four of either major? Nope. So he denies it by saying two diamonds. When the responder says three hearts, that's the shorter one. That's the one he owns four of. That's the point where the opener says alert. And he says to the opener, I've got five of the others. If you have three, let's play that one. Guess what? He has three. So he bids it for heart, for space. All right? If he didn't have it, if he was short, if that two <laughs> dropped down here was a club, he would just bid three no. If he says, well, I'm sorry, I don't have three of that one. You already said I don't have four of either one. Now he's saying I don't have three of your longer one. I'm only looking for three. Yes, ma'am. Why did they not just uh, transfer the space? Because, it's a great question, it really is a good question. He didn't just transfer to spades. Because in this instance, he's got the points to take his time and find the best fit. If he just transferred to spades, in this instance, it would work out. But tomorrow, his partner's only going to have two spades. And he'd be in a seven card fit, which we've all played and none of us like. Right? So he's... There's no reason when you're pushing towards game or slam, the slower you can bid, the better. Keep it open to find your best fit. Yes, Pat? I don't see the advantage of bidding that way. It would be more clear and just say three spades. And well, if your you know what? Have it. You would be right, except who's going to play this hand if responder says three spades? Responder. And that's the same, it's the same principle of why we like transfers. Did y'all understand her question? She didn't see the advantage. Why didn't the, he just say three spades, so it's real clear to his opening partner, right? Right, we want, we want the same advantage that we get when we use transfers. We want the hand that's stronger to be concealed. We want the opening lead to come all the way down to where the opener plays last in the first, the first hand, don't we? So you think the, the east is going to be the dummy? This will be the dummy, and this is what's showing up. This is what's showing up. But over here with my aces and queens, man, look at these okay. queens not and jacks. Just, not just your bid suit, but your own hands. Right, you don't, yeah, that's why, that's why. Yeah. Uh, this is a good example because look, we have a horrible break. We have a three, four break. And it still makes. It makes four spades. You will lose a spade. You will lose uh, two hearts. But then you're home free. You will get the rest of it. You will. Yes. Yes, Anne. What is the top of the point range for responding to your spell? Good. Okay. She asked, what's the top of the point range? There isn't any top of the point range. A lot of uh, professionals like this because it allows them to start exploring for slam. When they get their four spades, getting the confirmation that they've got a three, five fit, and if they're really fat over here, they can explore for game at that point. The bid four, no, and off to the races they go. So like if they had 13, 14 points, Maybe well, you, you need to remember, because your no trump range is right here, 15, 16, or 17, your responder should know his points add up and his shape adds up to a slam. You <coughs> push all of, these, all of these pretty cards over into this east hand, you might be talking a slam. Could be easily talking a slam. But he needs, he needs more of these outstanding points. To go to slam, you know, I, I think he needs sixteen for slam. How many points do you need for slam? Well, I want them all, but I'll live. I will live with thirty to thirty-two-ish, you know. And, and that's not that's things have got.
got to work right, you know. Every, an ace is four. I don't want to have two aces out on me. If I'm in 32, I could have two aces out on me. Unless I've got a void on that ace, I'm in trouble. So you really need to be cautious. You know, distribution makes a lot of difference. But again, that's why the experts like this. Not only do they have the advantage of a transfer type situation, once you play this a time or two, and the person who's going to have to remember this will be a responder. And I think you will. When you pick up a hand that's four or five in the majors and your partner opens one no trump, a bell needs to go off in your head. And when you make that jump a bit, when your partner has denied the four card major, a bell needs to go off in their head. Well, why are they been on? I told them no. Well, they want to know if you've got three. Okay? All right. We have handouts. Uh, if you want a handout, they're, did you pass them out? Okay. Everybody get one or does anybody else need one? You need one, Abby? Other more? All right.